Nestled in South Central Kentucky is Hart County, one of many small Kentucky counties steeped in rural history, heritage, and unbending hometown values. For generations and generations, this history and our time-honored traditions have been passed down to preserve our rich heritage. Part of that rich heritage is the art of quilting. To show pride in our heritage and honor our past, Hart County has begun a clothesline of quilts. These quilts are an artistic reminder of the way our forefathers held fast to beliefs and cultural values. On 42 barns throughout our county, you will find replicas painted of quilts that remind us of where we have come from. Join us as we honor our past with a tour of Hart County's clothesline of quilts. Bonneville City Council chose railroads as one of their quilts because of the historic value that railroads had for this area. July 4th. Bonneville City Hall Council chose this because Bonneville is big on 4th of July and it's our founder state. It beautifies the city. Lone Star was chosen as part of a beautification project for the city of Bonneville. Amber Leaves is owned by Betty and Lynn Roberts. They chose this quilt be pattern because it reminds them of the acreage that they live on. Wishing Star. Keith and Sherry Riggs chose the Wishing Star quilt because Sherry is a quilter and they lost their oldest son and the first quilt she made after he died had a star, so they picked it in memory of him. Bats. This quilt belongs to Donna and Annie Seymour. The reason they painted bats on their quilt is that they have a cave on their farm that contains a colony of endangered gray bats. The bats come to the cave from April to October and then leave to another cave in Indiana. Agape. Darlene and Brian Eel chose the quilt Agape because they like the honeycomb and they like the heart on it because their farm is called Country Girl at Heart. Also, Agape means God loves us. Log House, Chuck and Brenda Rosenberger. They found the pattern on the internet and they like the country theme and they live in a log cabin. Ohio Star, Joyce and Ron Garman. They chose this pattern because she used to live in Ohio, so she wanted to incorporate her life in Ohio and where she lives now. Dutch Girl. The reason Gary Dennison chose this quilt was because his mother used it to make her granddaughter's first quilt. Hens a Peckin. Paul and Kathy Hawkins chose the quilt Hens a Peckin because one of their hobbies are caring for chickens. Kathy saw the pattern in a magazine and fell in love with it. The Royal Star of Kentucky by Paul and Kathy Hawkins was made originally by a dear friend of the family. They wanted to honor her passing with this quilt. Kaleidoscope. Athlean and Lee Tyndall chose this because they liked the colors and the way it stood out. Peggy Avery chose matrimony because the pattern was on the quilt she inherited from her grandmother. Dresden Plate. Jim and Brenda Dutterar chose this quilt because they actually have the quilt. It was Jim's grandmother's quilt, but they don't know who made it. Shooting Star. Paul and Kathy Dennison, they chose this quilt because of the bright colors. The Eagle is owned by Sherman and Eleanor Vance. They wanted something that looked like it belonged in the sky and they knew it would be up on their barn. Also, it looked patriotic and the Eagle stood for strength. Red Schoolhouse, Kay and Henry Amos. You know gave the land to the county for the school and she used to be a school teacher. That is why she chose this pattern.
Tree of Life. Charles Williams chose the Tree of Life because he has been planting and caring for trees for several years. He has won several dozen awards, and this spring he was in the top ten of the whole United States. Bow Basket and his spinning spool. Mary Coakley chose this quilt because she liked the patterns and it's two patterns in one. She had a quilt like it. Liberty Star. This quilt belongs to Glenn and Phyllis Thomas. This pattern is from the 1940s in honor of servicemen in World War II. They chose this because his father was in the service. Mary in England chose Lone Star pattern because it was a 1950s wedding gift from her grandmother. The Calico Star. John Gidman chose this quilt because his wife liked the pattern. Christmas Quilt. Larry and Martha Rogers. It was Martha's mother's quilt and they loved the colors and they thought it was really pretty. The Navajo Rug is owned by Mac and Connie Smith. They are cattle owners and they spend a lot of time in the Southwest. They came to love the pattern and it also matches their farm and house decor. Four Corners. Debbie Cheney chose this quilt because her grandmother made it for her son as a newborn. Bear Paul. Linda Birch chose the quilt because there was a sighting of a bear on her farm. Steeplechase Quilt. Billy Joe and Pat Bird chose this quilt because it was made for their son's baby quilt. Their grandmother had made this special quilt for him. Goose Tracks. Richard and Ann Wilkerson chose the quilt Goose Tracks because they used to have geese on their farm. They also liked it because it matched the colors of their barn. Janice and George chose the Arkansas Crossroads because their kids live in Arkansas and she liked the name and pattern. On for real tourism, Tobacco Leaves was chosen because tobacco is our cash crop and represents tobacco we grow in Hart County as a part of our agriculture. Crazy Quilt. Israel Bergenson chose this quilt just because he likes it. Larry and Felicia Davenport chose Dutch Doll. Her grandmother made many quilts for her family members and grandchildren, and this particular pattern was her grandmother's favorite. 